Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So today's video is my uh, 50 shades of purple update for you. Now I didn't do an update in June because there wasn't actually that much to show you. So I think I'm going to do these updates every other month. So bi-monthly rather than monthly. Um, I hope the ladies uh, from the Fantastic Ladies Collaboration Group do not mind me doing that. It's just that I, I honestly don't want to do a video where I go, yeah, not much has changed, uh, which is pretty much most of my project plans actually. Um, but yeah, so, um, but this month I do have some stuff to show you, including three empties. Yes, three items I have finished completely. Um, so the first of those, um, it's a little bit shorter than it was when I first started uh, because I cut it open. I absolutely worked this completely empty, as you can see. Um, this was the Vitamin E um, SPF 15 Moisturising Day Cream uh, from Superdrug. I got this as a free gift with purchase. Um, and yeah, I just used this as like an all over body cream for when I got out of the bath. Um, I would just slather this all over um, and it would help with my dry skin. Um, I suffer a lot with dry skin, especially on my body as well, even though on my body it doesn't look like it's dry or flaky or anything. It just itches an awful lot. It itches all the time. Um, but I found that when I was using a body moisturiser like this one, uh, my body doesn't itch half as bad. So, um, and obviously itching is a sure sign of dry skin. So, yeah, I really, really enjoyed uh, using this. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase this, although um, I wouldn't mind receiving another gift with purchase of this. Um, but, yeah, um... I don't think it's that expensive anyway, but I have plenty of the Body Shop um, moisturizers, so um, I tend to go there for my uh, body lotions, so, because I love the smells. Um, so yeah, that is that one done. The next item is another skincare item, but this time for the face. It is the a new Clinical Lift and Firm Faceless face lifting cream with polypeptide X. So it is that. I received this from Avon and it is all gone, all empty. Now I will confess that no, technically, technically, this is not all gone uh, because I have been mixing this face cream with a foundation that is also in this project um so i will be showing that um now <laughs> might as well uh, so that is the um revolution conceal and hydrate foundation uh so last month we were up to there and now when i peel back the packaging you can see we are now down to here um, so there where we were last month and we are now just to the bottom of this packaging now. Um, so I'm nearly done with this, um, this foundation. I do love this foundation on its own, um, because it is a conceal and hydrate one. It does, um, it doesn't feel so thick and so, um, close on my skin. Um, and it does work better with my dry skin. Um, it says radiance foundation with hyaluronic acid for medium and full coverage. So because of the more warmer weather, I don't want to go full coverage. And that's why I've been mixing it with the face cream so that I can get more like a, a tinted moisturizer, which is what I currently have on today. And that's what I have in this little pot. Now, I will say that there is still quite a little, quite a bit, oh, nearly tipped that out then. Still quite a lot in this pot. Um, I would say it's about half full to here. Um, but it, it probably will only last me the month. 
um, and then that will be finished. So now I only have this little pot. It means I can uh, declutter this little pot um, and put this in the bin. Um, so I count that as this product is finished, even though technically it isn't. And then the other item is just this little perfume sample. This was the Jimmy Choo Fever perfume sample. <coughs> um, can't even remember what this smelled like. Any left? Any at all? No, none left. What's it? Oh, little, little. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. But, like, I'm not going to rush out and purchase a bottle. Um, because I just don't wear perfumes. I will use the samples. Generally, when I'm travelling, I will take the samples. Um, but as we haven't been travelling anywhere, I've just been... <coughs> I've just been using up my samples anyway. So, yeah. Uh, so that is that one done as well. So that one is now out of my collection. So let's move on to items that I have... <coughs> progress on um, I will go back to the actual uh, conceal and hydrate revolution foundation to tell you that it went from uh, where was it number 10 so back in May when I did the last update this weighed 111.63 grams and now weighs 107.30 grams. So that's just to give you the update on that. And as I say now, we are down to here. So that is good news. Um, going uh, to the concealer of the same uh, thing, the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer, which I am wearing today. I quite like it. Uh, this one was um, 27.13 grams last month and now weighs 26.67 grams this month. Now, when I peel back the packaging on this, um, we're not really seeing anything there. And that's because this lies down in my drawer like this whereas this is stood up on my desk so that's why i got the uh the marks on this one but not on this one um so yeah i'll just keep going until i can no longer get this um but it's still coming out nice and plentiful on the wand so that is that item uh, then let's go back to my, um, it's upside down. You'll have to deal with it upside down because this is how it sits. Um, this is the Imperial Leather Mermazing Fijian Water and Lotus Flower Shower Gel. Uh, so we are currently down to here. I think last time we were up here. I would mark this, but this sits on the side of my bath and gets very wet. Um, because um, of the way that I'm grabbing it and things like that. So any mark I make on here is probably not going to stick around. I don't want to put like um, like a washi tape on there because that would also just get wet and come off. So um, I have been taking weights for this, however. So um, no, I haven't been taking weights. I apologise. This is too heavy for my scales. So at the moment, it's still saying overload. So I can't give you weights, but I can say that we were to here, but now we're to here. So yes, it is going down. Basically, it's just going down. Um, but yeah, I know that can be annoying for some people. They like to see uh, the marks, but this product is just, it's just not going to let me. Okay, the next item um, is my cherry lip balm. Uh, from Mad Beauty, we have my girl Ursula on the front. I kind of, kind of look like her, don't I? I do, I do. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, this one is really nice. It sits uh, next to me on my table uh, downstairs. Um, you can see a little bit of a dip going in there. I can definitely feel the dip when I'm putting my finger in to use it. Um, I love the smell of this. I can't stand cherries. I hate cherries. But I love the smell. I love cherry smell. 
I like cherry cola. I like the smell of cherries. But I don't like the taste of them. Uh, the fresh fruit. Um, it's the only fruit, really, I don't like. And pineapple. I don't like pineapple. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, this one, number six. Uh, last month, this weighed 23.75 grams. And she now weighs 22.99 grams. So, she's definitely going down. I am not concerned about this whatsoever. I do go through lip balms quite quickly because I'm constantly applying them when I am sat downstairs. Um, I will apply my lipstick uh, when I first get dressed um, uh, and do my makeup um, but then after that as the day goes on I am more likely to either wipe off my lipstick uh, when I eat um, because I don't like seeing the lipstick get all over my fork and my food as I'm eating. Um, so I will wipe off my lipstick before eating and then I will just, for the rest of the evening, keep applying lip balm. Uh, the only time I would ever reapply lipstick if I, is if I was out and I was eating. And then I would, I would remove my lipstick while I was eating and then I would probably reapply it afterwards. Um, but yeah, so that is that item. Uh, the next item is my uh, I Heart Revolution Mermaid Splash Fragrance Body Mist and look it is oh, where can we see it it is right down right here at the bottom we are talking dregs that is it that is it at the bottom it is literally just coating the bottom there um, a few more uses and this will be finished I have really been using quite a lot of this. I have been applying this practically every day uh, over the last month. Um, I What I did was I got a new basket and I put all of my like things like this in that basket. And now because it is like so close, I am applying it almost every day now. So yeah, this has been my primary sort of spray um, and I spray quite liberally <laughs> so because it's just a body mist so yeah uh, it has gone down quite a lot uh, so number seven this has gone from 81.70 uh, grams down to 57.54 grams so yes gone down a lot um, but yeah so that is that one The next item is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the travel one. Um, so this one has gone from 52.21 grams to 47.67 grams. I really, really like this. I actually keep the containers afterwards and use them again because I really like this double lid for traveling. I think that's why it has a double lid. I figure that's why it does to protect it twice as much when you're traveling so that if this lid gets knocked off, it's still got that one. Um, so yeah, I do keep these bottles for when I do travel. Um, obviously not traveled any time recently. Um, but yeah, I love this setting spray. I might actually ask for a full size of this for Christmas um, because I do like it. It is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that one, uh, that has gone down. The next item is my Maybelline, uh, Master Ink Metallic Purple Eyeliner. This is really, really pretty. Um, I don't have it on today, but I have been wearing it with a lot of brown eye looks because I don't know what it is, but brown and purple just really... Oh, I love it. So that is the colour. As you can see, it is really metallic. Really, really pretty and really, really beautiful. Um, I I love this. It is so pretty. I love the applicator. I'm getting better at doing like an eyeliner. I still can't do a wing. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do a wing. But I really, really love this one. Uh, so this one has gone from... Uh, 8.57 to 8.53 so not a lot but then again 
I'm not using very much at all um, when I do use it but yeah putting a purple eyeliner with a brown eyeshadow I feel like such an Egyptian goddess when I do that I, I, I do love it. I think that's what I was in a former life. I must have been because I I love the purple and brown look. And then on to just uh, the items that I am trying. Oh, another item that I'm trying to use up. I did use it a couple of times, but when I went to weigh it, my scales said it weighed 0 0.02 grams more than when it weighed two months ago. And I know I've definitely used this two or three times at least in the last month. So this is the PS Lip Liner and Crayon Duo in Cherry again. Um, so one side we have this lip liner. And I'll give you a swatch. And then this side we have the actual lip crayon which we have that much and the swatch of this that's the crayon uh, that's the lip liner and that's the crayon so you can see very very beautiful colors um i have used this a couple of times and i've even used the lip liner but with a different lipstick sometimes so I do have some usage as you can see here on the lip liner it has gone down slightly but on the lip crayon it hasn't so yeah I don't know what is happening with this um it's obviously hello can we can I come back to normal please uh so I don't know what is happening with this because it, it's refusing to go anywhere so I'm gonna have to really focusing on this in the next uh, couple of months so I can try and finish this otherwise it's just not going to happen so yeah that's that item and then the last three items that I'm going to talk about today because I'm not going to talk about all 50 because I haven't been using all 50 um, I continue to use my blushing hearts highlighter uh from i heart makeup this was before uh i heart makeup became i heart revolution um and i'm currently working on this side trying to flatten it down and hit pan so i don't know if you can see it is getting flatter compared to uh that side can you see um but yeah very very slowly i do have it on today it's very very pretty um but no pan as of yet but i feel i feel like it we're probably not going to see anything till the end of the year on that one but anyway the next item um i brought out the mac bronzer in bayana bronze um i was working on my hula benefit bronzer um, but that is now almost finished so I tend to and it's only got around the edges now left on it so I'm using that more like an eyeshadow um, so I brought this one out so I can start using it as my main bronzer it is the bronzer that I'm wearing today I really really like this it's very very pretty um, that's the kind of bronze shade that it is um, so yeah, it's very very pretty, but we have uh, not even a dip yet um, But the goal is to hit pan on this, but I have been using it um, Every time I do my makeup now, so hopefully we should see some usage very very soon And then the last item um, that I have is my very beat up now it won't even uh, click close anymore because the plastic bit here that would normally clip it shut has broken off um, because that's what cheap plastic does but this is this is the revolution matte base corrector kit um, I have been using this shade here um, under my eyes it has severely helped like massively helped my under bag under eyes bags under bag my it has really helped my dark circles under my eyes 
Honestly, there are some days where I just apply this under my eyes and, and I leave it at that because it it's such a beautiful shade that it just, um, it cancels out the darkness of my under eye circles, um, but kind of blends in with the rest of my skin really, really nicely. So I really, really like it. Um, I know I should be trying to hit pan on the purple because this is 50 shades of purple, but it has purple in the pan. I'm just not using the purple now because I need this under my eyes, not this. So yeah, um, I think I will probably more than likely hit pan on this very, very soon. Um, but I will continue to keep using it anyway. I might actually put this into uh, use this shade up completely and see if we can do that. Um, I do sometimes use green, as you can see. Um, I sometimes use that on my nose if my nose is a bit red um, or on my cheeks if I'm a little bit um, like rosy when I do my makeup. Uh, these two I tend not to use very often. I have used this sometimes on the places where I want to highlight, um, but I don't want to apply too much of this all these colour correctors on my face because obviously the more layers on my skin the more cakey it's going to end up looking so um, while the we have the warm weather I don't really want to be applying too many layers on my face so yeah um, some good progress that I do think um, I don't know how deep the pans are but I do have a feeling we might hit pan soon um, so that is that so that is my update for 50 shades of purple i hope you don't mind me doing these every two months rather than every month because as you can see a few things have obvious usage um but other things i am using they're just not showing that usage so yeah i uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye